everybody. There we go. We want the tree in there. It's time to do the calendar. I didn't see camera. Hey, God. Okay, so let's do nine. Day nine. Day Bear Bear, did you want to help? Really? You want you want it? Uh, do you want it? Do you want to help? You're not big enough. Yeah, you're not big enough. Okay, so what do we want for day nine? What do we want for day nine? Let's do let's do the pillow. That one's cute. All right, Vlogmas Day number nine. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day number eight. We'll get to the calendar in a minute. I am supposed to be on my way to the Man Up America Studios, but I'm not because somebody canceled because they couldn't sleep. But still, I literally rolled out of bed. Hang on. Hey, Yogi Puppies! Yogi Baby Boys! Okay, sorry. It's a thing. You guys know by now it's a thing. I literally woke up late because we needed to have the show early because Annie had another appointment. So we were going to hold the show at 8.30 and I woke up at 7.44 going, oh my God. So I had to rush and take a shower and get myself ready. And then I run in and I'm getting my shoes on and I check my phone and I see that. And I was like, oh. So I called Annie and we're meeting for coffee because I have her muffins. It is time for me to deliver. Um, baby, you need to get out of the road. I see a little kitty just laying in a road, in the road. Makes me nervous. I don't like it. I think he's just laying there to be laying there, but he doesn't look like he's laying in a weird way, but he's black, so I can't tell. Anyway, look, you know, if it's in distress, I gotta help it. Anyway, so Annie and I are gonna meet up here at Starbucks, so you guys get to come along, and uh, we're gonna have some coffee, and we're gonna talk some shit about Adam, because that's what we do. <laughs> immediately started making cheesecakes and uh, while the cheesecakes were cooking then I went ahead and made dinner because I'm superwoman and that's what I do. Prince, stop laughing. I can hear you laughing all the way through the TV. You know how he laughs? He goes <laughs> and if he didn't do it out loud, he did it in his head. Yeah, yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. That's right. You know I'm right. That's exactly right. I can hear him all the way through TV land. Whatever. And I mean that. So, am I out so early? There are school buses too? Wow. I thought everybody was in school by now. Surely. They must just be going back home. I'm pretty sure the kids are all in school by now. Um... So we'll be at the Starbucks in just a in just a couple of minutes. So we'll, you know, we'll videotape a little bit while we're there. And uh, might be doing some running to deliver stuff today. I think Creasy's still in town. I'm waiting on Alderman to tell me where he's gonna be. So that I can drop all these things off. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Let's
Uh, we're vlogging, so say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We brought... Oh, you put a filter on me. Thank you. I think I, I put a filter on everything naturally because yes. I need all the help I can get, girl. <laughs> all the help. So I already told everybody we're going to do coffee and we're going to talk shit about Adam. Oh, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's see. They're not going to hear it. Well, I mean, no, we can't. Well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll hear this part. something they want to hear? Yes, I do. Okay. This is Annie. I don't know how she does that, but it's amazing. It's, um, so, I mean, you know how it is with a purse. Like, yes. You know, this is like our luggage. This is like square footage. So, your square footage of your purse, I guess it would be square inches, is what goes in here is very important because you can pull the shoulder out. This is not a Mary Poppins bag. You know, keep it. You can't be a hoarder and carry a purse out. You're, you're going to have shoulder trouble. So what goes in here is the bare minimum yeah. for daily survival. We're yes. Chapstick, tiny toothbrushes. Um, I have I have these beautiful plastic toothpicks that are wonderful. I need to get you. I need to get you a bag of them. With. Mm -hmm. um, we got sunglasses. We've got both phones because I'm in the mom. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. The steroids I'm on for tennis elbow. You know, drugs, things like that. Yeah. Guns because there's a gun in mine. You know. So I'm serious about this work. It's a bare minimum survival kit in this purse. We're here at Starbucks. And if I'm going to pay for coffee and not make it home, because I'm serious about my coffee and make really good coffee. She Starbucks. is not lying. Starbucks makes a good coffee. That $100,000 espresso maker over there, it does a good job. Okay? So I want to drink the coffee here. But if I'm going to sit here with Tammy, I want to have a full experience, right? So I'm here at Starbucks. she was going there. I did. It's actually not a bad idea. There's a compartment in my car for tennis balls and tennis things, and I might just tuck it in there. It's not a bad idea. You don't have to carry it in the car. Just carry it in the car. So this is a major life decision. I think it's a good one. What do y'all think? Hey, leave a comment down below while you're at it. Subscribe. Yep. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up right here. Hit the bell right there. Is this on TikTok? No. Well, no, these are too long for TikTok. Oh, okay. TikTok, you could only do like, I think three minutes is the longest now. But my vlogs are somewhere, well, these vlogs are shorter. They're usually like 10 minutes or under. My normal vlogs are somewhere between 10 and, or 15 and 20 minutes is what we try to do. Yesterday, I filmed doing the um, no sugar added keto friendly white chocolate amaretto cheesecake. That's what almonds. Uh, that's what Alderman's getting. Oh my god! Creasy's getting the full sugar one. I. You could maybe even have some of that. I don't know. You don't I, like cheesecake? Here's. Have you heard of the concept, the dietary concept, the differential? No. So we gotta go this angle because my arm hurts. Okay. Sorry. Well, you wanna put it right here? I don't have anything. Big. Let me see here. If, if I can do this, let me see. Hang on. <laughs> Oh my see, hair. Yeah. God bless it. No, you're beautiful. You're always beautiful. She didn't have to try. That's why we're friends. Anyway, no, I've never heard of the differential. The differential is the concept when you're. I, I hate to say dieting because you know I've dropped the diet. Culture. Yeah, I don't do the diet thing. I just have my mentality. my lifetime change where I do. I'm big into the intermittent fast, which she is too. Um, she doesn't do the big long fast. Time she doesn't do the big long fasting like I do a couple of times a month, which I have been off and I need to get my butt back on seriously because I've gained like four pounds. So that's not good. Um, well, I'm not down where I need to be, so I need to quit fluctuating. I need to get under the 150 mark and I haven't gotten to one, or I haven't, I haven't gotten under 160 yet. Uh, see, I'm not weighing anymore because I'm trying to. No, I weigh every day and the reason I do. From, I'm trying to get away from. Here's the reason I do. The concept that it's about weight. Loss. Well, it keeps me accountable. Because if I'm not dropping the weight, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Which I'm not trying to get skinny. I'm never going to be skinny. My body isn't skinny even when I am skinny. So that's fine. But we both do intermittent fasting. It's just I do um, a little bit harder fasting than she does. But she's way more consistent uh, than I am. So what's, what's the, well, the differential? The reason I do, I call it time restricted eating. Because the yeah. intermittent fasting community didn't, didn't really promote health. They promoted weight loss. And I, I've got like some issues in my past with like dieting, diet mentality, and like obsession. Well, it can screw you up. Yeah, it can put you in a bad place. And I have a daughter. I mean, I have daughters. Right. They're young and they're... You don't want to... They're impressionable. I don't want them to go... I, I don't want them to be like me in her 20 years. I don't want every diet known to me. Like, you can name a food and I can tell you which diets you're not allowed to eat that food on. 
they eat, and then they rest for long periods of time. And during that time, their body goes through the digestive process that involves insulin production. The big one is insulin. But when yep. you're constantly eating and constantly um, in the digestive process and constantly putting food in, your body's you're never able, able to use the things right. that it stores. See, so we, it's storing it talked up. about this we on were the channel. To store it up. My yeah. big issue with, and one of the big reasons that I love it, and fasting, and I'll agree with it with the community on that. It's all about skinny. I'm not trying to get skinny. I'm just trying to get healthier. Is people don't realize that the amount of insulin that is built up in your body, and when you are eating constantly, well, every time, time you eat, insulin resistant. Yeah, every time you eat, your body releases insulin, and to when you don't, food. when you don't allow your food to be digested all the way, which takes hours and hours and hours, your stored up of insulin becomes fat, is basically what happens. So when you go those long periods of time in between, you actually are allowing your body to do the job that God designed it to do, which is use coffee. all the full use all the fuel and things that you that you basically have. So um, Eddie and I are definitely on the same page there. I never realized until she kind of said that. That's true how a lot of the intermittent fasting world is strictly on, it's strictly a weight loss thing. And while I need to lose weight for my body to be healthier because I'm too big, um, for my body to be healthy, she makes a good point with that. So I kind of like the restricted eating as well. It's kind of a better way to um, to put it as I was telling them. I didn't, I kind of realized but didn't realize, yeah, the community is all about weight loss. Now for me, I need to lose weight for my body to be healthier, I have too much well, weight on my body. If you're doing the right things, you will be the, the weight that you should be. So with, yeah. the, with the differential, it's, I read a book once, and it was a health book. There was a, there was a component to weight loss to it, but you know, it was this person talking about the differential. Assess the, oh, my phone's ringing. Assess the differential of, of what your, of your choices. So like, yep. so like, let's talk about cheese but let's talk about cream cheese so cream cheese and third of fat cream cheese and I, this is not me promoting low i don't right i don't, I don't like do low fat, fat. i don't like light things i don't, I don't do like i do full fat i do i do yeah. real whole food yes. real butter yes real yes. real cream real but i do all that the stuff differ, looking at the differential is is looking and saying like you know i'm i'm gonna i guess cheese and then have third fat cream cheese. What is the difference? What is the risk versus the reward? Full fat cream cheese and third fat cream cheese do not taste that different to some people. Now to some people they do. But, but what this person was saying was like weigh the weigh the, the differences and is the difference the differential worth it. So like so for me <clears throat> let's apply it to how how I eat. Like I I have a real tendency towards excess and gluttony. It is my personality type. I yep. do things excessive. I am the same way. All the way. And it's, um, yep. you know, in all my personality testing, that is who I am. Yep. So I have to be careful because I'm a consumer. Yeah. yeah. I'm a consumer and I have to be careful with alcohol. I have to be careful with food. I have to be careful with any shopping. So, so if I get into, like, if, if I am at a buffet, like, I'm a person who can very easily go off the rails. So I have to be careful because I care about health and longevity and living a very long time disease free and medicine free. So that's what kind of drives me. It's like, mm -hmm. I want to be able to play tennis as long as I can. I want to be able to hike as long as I can. I want to be able to play with my kids and like do, be active. I don't want to be in a situation outdoors where I can't take care of myself. Yeah. You know? And so that sort of drives my behavior. When I'm looking at cheesecake versus fries, for me, the fries are worth it. If there are fresh hot fries right. sitting in front of me, I'm never going to say no. And I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, I'm never going to be on a diet again that says that I can't do that. Yeah. And that, for me, is freedom yeah. from my eating disorders, yeah. from my diet mentality. But now, if you put a cheesecake in front of me, I will just politely say, like, I want to try a bite because you made it. You know what I mean? No, yeah, I get that. But for me, I'm never going to sit and eat a piece of cheesecake because of the differential. And I've just you, it's not worth it. It's yeah, not your it's thing. It's just not worth it. But girl, now, we're talking about fries the, in the, front of me. Uh, the no sugar added, low carb. Oh, I'm going to try it. Cheesecake that I did because I'm just curious. Now, for me, a lot of times I can do them in that version and they don't taste any different than the regular version. 
Well, or, I like cheesecake, so that is something that I would do so that I can have a piece of cheesecake and it doesn't throw me completely off off my rails. Now, I'm one of those, I've told people before, um, you know, I try to stay low carb as much as I can, but if I want a piece of pizza, I'm going to have a piece of pizza. I just try to make sure that I don't have pizza all the time, yes. or we don't have spaghetti all the time, or all the things that we know that are probably not good for you anyway, yes. but mine is more because I want to, I want to get off blood pressure medicine. I don't like putting chemicals in my body, so my big push to do this was, um, no, girl, see, and that's my thing, I'm lazy. Y'all know I am. I'm so lazy. I don't exercise. My exercise is cleaning the house, working in the yard. You so you're know, active. I'm, I'm, I'm active, but in that sense, I'm not active. Look, I've got two cycles and an electrical down in my basement. They all have cobwebs. What do you enjoy? Do you, are there any activities? I need a buddy. I won't do it by myself. That, that's what it is. Is I won't, do, yourself, okay. I won't do anything like that by myself because I need a buddy. And I also need someone to help me stay accountable yeah because I'm lazy AF so let me tell you before I found my way into the tennis community so tennis is something that I I'm a, I'm a borderline obsessed like I can't play every day because of work right like, every day that I get a call that I can squeeze in a match I play I play eight to twelve hours a week anywhere here so when I play tennis I burn anywhere from 900 to 1300 calories nice so what that's done is like, you know, when that's I, a full meal. Well, it is a full meal, but I, I don't look at the cal. I, I say the calories to show you how it's rising, raising my heart rate. So yeah. My heart rate gets up high and bursts, and it does that. So that's what's burning the calories. Where I'm not concerned about that for food, like my blood pressure is low. It's perfect. It's my cholesterol is good. Like. So when you're trying to get on blood pressure meds, it's not even as much of a weight loss thing as it's getting your heart rate high and, and on a regular basis. So it's like going in and pushing your heart, exercising your heart, you know what I mean, is going to help your blood pressure. So that's well, because the fun cardio. thing is everything is completely normal. I mean, I've had every blood test known to man. And they can't find any reason as to why my blood pressure I became wonder, high. But I wonder the way that it did. So if you started. If I doing, wonder if I start doing cardio, if that would. That's yeah, a good idea. And nothing crazy. Like, like I. Before, well, my knees are bad, so like as much as I would love to play tennis, I oh, can't. Yeah. No, you need a low impact something to raise your spin. Heart rate. Spin is good, and I like spin. Um, so what about the YMCA? Well, I have two spin bikes at home. I don't. I don't need one. But do you need a buddy? Well, I do need a buddy, but to be you honest with you, spin class. I've taken spin class. I took it at the Rush when the Rush was there. That's how. That's why I have spin bikes. What about Orange Theory? But the other issue was is that they don't run on the time schedules that I need yeah. to run on. See, that is my other my other issue because the days that I work, um, you know, I'm not going to get up at six thirty in the morning to go take a class, which is what I had to do, I do yoga at the Rush. <laughs> Well, look, I'm usually up by 6, but if I wanted to... When I went to the rush, I had to get up at 4 a.m. to be at the rush by 5.30. But if someone said to you, Tammy, we're going to start biking together, and I need you to be at the YMCA at 5.30, what would you say? I mean, I'd I, say I scream, do it. No, I do it. I do it. Would we buy a Lee matching unitard and headbands? You know what would be good, though? Let's do it. Is is I feel like I want you to just, do it. You just need to come to the house. I have two bikes and we'll do it there. <laughs> I would I don't have a, I don't I have a class though. I would play with kittens the whole time. Yeah, that's true. You know I me and I would be like Yeah, you would. I would be Yeah, you kittens. would. Plus you haven't seen Chicky in forever. <laughs> Don't be so handsome. He is so handsome. I'm telling you, when my children leave and, and the adults in my house decide that they don't want to live with me anymore, it's gonna be me and a bunch of cats. I way, totally get it. It's the way it should be. One more thing on the, the cardio thing. Yep. Before I found tennis, I mean, I, I was born playing tennis. Like, I didn't find tennis. I just had to find my way into a community that would call me to play. You know? Right. That, that you, you gotta get in. Um, before I got in, I boxed. Like, at nine rounds, they're, they're close really? now. I boxed for two years. And cardiovascularly, like, I was in probably the best shape of my life. Like more so than when I was running. Because um, for 45 minutes, you are 
you're beating the hell out of yourself and others. Okay. Which is we need that for the aggression. And so okay. it's a matter of finding something yeah. that helps you achieve the goal that is not miserable. So I will never go to the gym again. I'm never gonna I don't like gym. Unless, unless I not, just don't. There's exceptions like Jared lifts weights, he's a beast in the gym, he's very Viking esque and he said to me, Any I would love for you to go to the gym with me. That's a reason to do it. But I don't like it. I'm not gonna do it. I don't either. I'm not gonna do I'm not ever gonna but if you can find something that helps you achieve your goal to lower your blood pressure, you're gonna to need to do hard now. I hate to tell you. You gotta find your thing. We're gonna end on that note. Love you bye.